say, well, no, really, you can't touch it, please. <laughs> well, you know, please. we've been tweeting back and forth uh, with Cheryl Hickey from ET Canada. Will Slapping she or way. will she not touch Michael's mustache? That is the it's question. It's hard to resist, people. isn't it? I change poopy diapers. I can totally <laughs> touch your stash, whatever, like you did. Now, let's clear up the fact that you have children before oh, yeah, you right, go right, on right, a right. Yeah, I don't just, yeah. No, I have, I have a child, and so it, that's nothing. I can touch your stash. So, <laughs> isn't it amazing uh, when you have a kid, the things that you realize that you're capable of doing? Oh, it's fine. That were disgusting before. Yeah. You picked know, up so. on that, not the fact that you're comparing his mustache <laughs> to poop. To poop. No, I'm yeah. all right with that. This is like a soiled diaper on my face, <laughs> but it's for a good cause. It is for a great so, cause. Honestly, yeah. do you want to touch it? No. <laughs> Cheryl, we have to say congratulations because you've got baby number two yeah, on the way. Yeah, thank you very much. And I have yes. to say, excellent cop-out on having to go paddle boarding on the West Coast here Completely. in Vancouver. Did you plan this so Rick would have to do everything? Well, when they said that we were coming at this time of year, I thought... You know, I need to get pregnant so that it's <laughs> rainy and cold. I don't want to go outside, and so Rick can no. It just so happened it all worked out that way. I'm a little bit jealous because he's got amazing adventures. So are you really a little bit jealous? I am because it I'm is raining so hard outside. Yeah, I know, but there comes a point where it's just like you don't have to worry about the hair, and you put on like the yeah. slickers, and you just get in it, and you go and you have fun. I mean. Pre-marriage and pre-baby, I used to be really adventurous. <laughs> I, you know, I went skydiving, I drove race cars, I did yeah. all these really fun things. Yeah. And I and I still love doing them, except now I feel a little bit more responsible for a small person. I'm not right. talking about my husband, I'm talking about my right. baby. <laughs> and so, yeah, so I can't do those things as but much anymore. But we all know Rick Campanelli is the nicest oh. guy in the world and he'll do anything, right? Yeah, I don't know if he would have said no, even if they... Yeah. yeah, we got a big note from the big boss. He's doing, A, a lot of stuff, and B, you have pregnancy brain, so you can't remember a lot of stuff. That's the truth of it, and I'm not going to lie. He's paddleboarding with Olympian Simon Whitfield, bald eagle viewing with Twilight Swowo, sledding with gold medalist John Montgomery, dog sledding with Olympian... Um, <laughs> Ashley McIver. Yeah, so he's... Uh, what else he's is he doing? got it all going on. Oh, we've also got exclusive footage from Daniel Radcliffe's film... Horns. So he's there oh, and nice he's and everywhere. Squamish. Yeah. So it he's... rains really hard in Squamish. Like if it's raining hard here, Squamish will be like Forward. like a waterfall. I know. You know what though? I think it's he loves adventure. You know that. He loves yeah. getting out and doing things. Do you like ever try and so... make him mad? Because he's the nicest well, guy in Canada, right? He's always smiling. Well, y yeah. <laughs> He is. Just keep in mind, he's not here. He probably won't see he's this. He's totally, so yeah. Disarray. No, he is the nicest guy in television, for sure. But I keep telling him, he needs to let a little bit of it out because you don't want him to become the passive-aggressive guy, and then when he's 50, he has a massive, he's upset, <laughs> so, right? So what you're saying is he's just repressing all that frustration and anger. Nobody can be that... Happy. I, I right. agree. Come on. I agree. We all love our days, don't we? <laughs> or maybe you're just a really angry person. I don't know. But no, he is He is truthfully, um, so sweet. yeah, I love yeah. him. He's wonderful. Okay, let's talk about Oprah Winfrey, because okay. you got to interview Oprah. What was that like? Yeah. It was with everybody. Um, she was just as approachable that you would hope and dream that she kind yeah. of was. We sat back. She was doing her big show in Toronto, and we were all sitting in the audience kind of watching her do her run-through. And it was good, because I wanted to see if... When I met her, right. if she put it on or if it was right, but whether she was, was. But that's what, what it was. Out. Yeah, isn't that nice? We were just talking to uh, Jean Gomeshi about. Now he's a freak. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Weird dude. Yeah, I don't know if he's still in the building, <laughs> but he's no. I but love him. But we were him. talking yeah. about that that sense of disillusionment that can come into it sometimes yeah. when you meet heroes. And it's so nice when you hear those stories. And not only do they meet expectations, they exceed them in so many ways. Right? Mm -hmm. Like it's just beautiful to see how nice people can be yeah. despite success, despite all this stuff. Because I think she genuinely is working on her inner self all the time, which would be exhausting after a while. I read her while. tweets. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she is. I know. It's just like, stop working on yourself. Just, like, make a mistake. Was you know? it intimidating? You and Rick, make mistakes. I know. <laughs> but was it's good it for intimidating you? interviewing Oprah of all people? You know, on most days, I think it probably would have been. But on that particular day, I had the flu. So right leading up to the interview, it was on a Saturday, I was laying on the floor playing Thomas the Train with my son. I was just like, right. yeah, okay. And so I wasn't, you know, you... Couldn't get inside your no. head? No. Yeah. And then when I actually sat down with her, all that, I got this surge of, oh, my Oprah-ness. <laughs> and so I'm kind of glad that I was focusing on the other stuff as opposed to focusing on yeah. what a big deal it was to be yeah. interviewing Oprah, because she's a big deal. Isn't it crazy? When you go right? through uh, your career, and I think we probably all have a little bit of this, but when you go through your career and you think of all the things that have happened leading up to what you do... Uh, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? I mean, you must give your head a shake sometimes and be like, wow, this is a 
great job. Yeah, it is a really great job. And I think what makes it great, and you guys probably say the same about your crew, I really truly wish our viewers could see and meet and see some of the goofy and interesting fun that goes into yeah. just making our yeah. show. You guys should live stream your show. That's actually part of the reason why we started live streaming. So everybody uh, can the see the nonsense. Day. We were here getting, why did we come here? Why in the fall? Oh, why in the fall? It's called November Rain for a reason. Yeah, it's like... You need to talk to my boss, because we, uh, when we were standing at their shooting today, we were thinking the same thing. April, um, May, they're gorgeous Yes. Here. I think we're just equal opportunity. Right, you show know? it all. Just... We love every season. <laughs> do you have a favorite thing that you do? Very diplomatic, by the way. Do you have a favorite thing to do in Vancouver? I know we covered sushi last time, but... Not still... Still? Yet. Not now. Did you try sushi. it last time? I did. Yeah. And it was okay. It wasn't okay enough for me to want it again. And I apologize to all the sushi farmers, people, everybody out there. <laughs> the sushi people. Um, the sushi makers and the, the lovers and the eater rollers. Uh, I just don't like that, so sorry. So I now, know. did you go full sushi, or did you try something innocuous, like a cucumber roll? Or? I shushumied everything, and I just did not like it. <laughs> I did not like it. But I, can I say, yeah. uh, what I do love about being here is um, our viewers, and, I, and I'm not kidding. Yeah. We were in the hotel the other night, and um, a lady stopped me in the elevator, and she was so ex genuinely excited. And I'm not talking, she wasn't a teenager. She was, a, you know, in her 30s or whatever, and she, you know, she had her own thing going on. But for a second there, she was just a fan of the show. And I yeah. think that it's good for our entire crew to get out on the road and to, to see people and to, to just do something a little when bit When you different. work in a studio all day, it's hard yeah. to get, uh, or it's easy to get disconnected yeah. sometimes yeah. On, on sort of what's going on. But people, there's just this, this lasting fascin fascination with celebrity, with stars, with people making movies, with creators, with artists, all this yeah. stuff. People, I don't think humanity will ever get sick of this. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you so. ever get sick of it? Because it's your whole life, right? Like, even when you're not No, because you turn it on and you turn it off, right? When I go home, I'm all about Thomas She's the Train. She's playing Thomas the Train and poopy Dude, diapers. Dude, yeah. Like, I mean, it's, I've got much more perspective now than I ever did before, and I think right. it's healthy and it's much and better. And it's a good escape. Absolutely. I, for sure. I ignore my kids. and Michael, Look it's the mustache. You? They're scared no. of you. He's kidding. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I love... Uh, what I do and I love reading about everything and seeing what everyone's doing and interviewing people but then I also love just going home and playing games with my son and hanging yeah. out with my husband being with my friends and my family it's it's good and it's important to have separation I didn't have separation for a really long time yeah. and I think it made me a thin person so then now that I've got that it's it's really really it's much better it's nice. much he rips my extensions out when I come home and runs around the house with them it's great your husband so, or your child well we'll talk about that <laughs> so, um, you know she's pregnant yeah. right? we yeah. love having you here Cheryl and, and Rick too and I just want to say I love what you're doing um, with your friend Mary with the anti-bullying oh, on, on so Twitter much. and everything else yeah, I think it's so important um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go on and check her out on Twitter. And Thank it's great. you, Cheryl. Follow Mary Thank Zelda, you, Fiona Forbes on Twitter. They're saying some good yes, stuff. And, right? Yeah, and uh, you can check out a race bullying, too, that's uh, out there as well by Christy Clark. Thank you again, Cheryl. Nice to see you. Congratulations. Rick. Thank Be you. Careful career, out there. On baby, on everything. Careful, Eagles. Rick. Eagles paddle boring. He'll be fine. He's oh, at Campanelli. Okay. Rick's having the greatest day of his life. I know. Yes. <laughs> Until he's 50, and then he's going to get mad at all of Canada. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tune in. We're going to take a He'll quick break. We'll be back with more yeah. right after this. Don't go away. Exactly. <laughs> Rebranding. He just loses his mind.